Hello everybody and welcome back to another Techno Tokyo Theater video. Oh, ho, ho, ho! we here. We are finally here, man, at the finale for the Wonderfest, which if you have seen any of my videos by now, I have been hyping up for some time now. It is the 18 plus adult section for all the figures, all right? So you got to put the kids to bed for this one, all right? All right. As you can see, I am more than ready, man. I got to my shirt with all these little anime girls orgasming everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen this shirt online for a while. I felt like, hey, now's a good time to get it. And no other time could be better than this video here today. So come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. This is what we have been waiting for. So I'm not going to... Uh, not going to make you guys wait any longer. It's been a long video in the making. I believe this is the eighth video in the Winterfest, Winter Wonderfest. And as you can already see here on the screen, it says, This post contains adult material. You need to be 18 or older to view it. And that also counts for this video, guys. It will be age-restricted. I don't know if that's going to save me from YouTube's draft because these motherfuckers have already tried to, to ax my ass once, all right? So, so just know that we are taking, I believe the content on here is going to be pretty tame. Okay, it's not going to be tamed at all. That's enough of an introduction. Let's go ahead and just get into the figures here. Oh my goodness, man. It's getting ridiculous, man. What? This does not look like an adult figure in the least. Am I on the right one? Uh, okay, so, well, this one says SkyTube. I don't know. Well, we're starting off extremely tamed, but uh, that's fine, man. Let's 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 warm up, cause I don't even think I'm ready yet, man. I don't think I'm ready. This is the the girl from um from Steins Gate. Now I I can't remember her name, but they always make beautiful beautiful figures of her. I mean, her herself is kind of bland, somewhat basic, but her bases are always amazing. They always have these gears and stuff, so that's always pretty cool. Um. I can't tell if these are just folds in her pants or if these are actual, actual break in her legs where the where the mold is at. I hope that that's not the case because that would be a bit not. I mean, it, I don't like it when the break in the mold is so noticeable. That's just odd. All right, and that, but, but we ain't gonna spend too much time with her, man. I know y'all ready to see some action. I'm ready to see some action too, man. It's been okay. We amping it up. Amping it up. Uh, now this is going to be a long ass video. It's something I probably didn't mention because we are going to be looking at every every figure uh, in the adult section. It's only seven sections, but it's probably going to turn into a uh, I don't know, maybe a two hour video. Uh, so yeah, just bear with us here. It's going to be longer than the other ones, but because I'm going to definitely want to comment on each of these figures. Then we started off strong. Okay, okay. Now this is more what I was expecting to see here. And these joints are beautiful. I, I think these are just from... I don't know if these are from an anime. I, I really... They might be. But based off the image in the background, it looks like these guys are all supposed to be uh, like a, like on a couch together. Just the drawing that... And sometimes that's what happens. There'll be an artist who'll make a really cool and interesting drawing. And they'll turn it into a figure. That would be my dream one day. I'm an artist and I draw... And it would be really cool one day if I make a really interesting picture. You'll see a lot more artwork here on the channel coming soon. I'm still trying to get that sorted out. But it'd be awesome if someone turned my, my image into a figure one day. That'd be awesome, dude. Uh, but in any case, let's go back to this. And as you can see, what's really cool about this set is that it's clearly designed to be a set. And, uh, and it looks like the, the different chairs form together to make a couch. So aside from the fact that they're all getting undressed and they're all partially dressed... Which is always a plus. Uh, putting the couches together and seeing how they look as a set. <sighs> These figures like this really get me, man. Because I love buying sets. I like completing a set. You know, there's something, a sense of accomplishment when you get every figure that's in a particular set. And so, I don't know. Putting these putting these chairs together, I feel like if you get one, you got to get them all, man. They're, they're, they're still tamed, man. We're not, we haven't gotten there just yet. But we're, we're moving, all right? Okay, they're showing each of the figures individual here. Okay, I'm with it. I'm so about it. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. Actually, let's. We never even saved this image. I mean, it looks a little cluttered. Uh, but I, you know, for my personal, it's not going to be a thumbnail. 
image. Of course not. Uh, it's not. It's not. <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna get a lot of thumbnail competition in this one. So that's definitely not a thumbnail choice. But uh, Rostano's still pretty tamed here. Pretty tamed. It has not amped up quite yet. But I guarantee you it will. Uh, this might be the last video I upload to YouTube, so please show your support, because <laughs> not, not, not by my choice, alright, because YouTube's going to fucking try to kill me after this video, I'm sure. Oh, goodness, okay, I like this figure a lot. She is not all that revealing, but I like her pose, I like her dynamic, I like the way she's dressed, I just wish she was in color. And I don't think we're going to get a color version of her, unfortunately, so we're going to keep it moving. We got a lot of figures to cover today, man, and we got a lot to say. This one, also a very nice figure. Uh, I like the pattern and the design here on her outfit. It's very simple, but it's very nice. Okay. Wow, we are. Th th this is relatively tame. We haven't gotten into anything too risque just yet. All right, let's 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 bring it back, man. It doesn't mean that these figures aren't nice. They're actually all very beautiful. But uh, we're here to see. We're here to see something very specific. All right. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Is that a dinosaur dick right there? Hold on, let me. That's stupid. Nah, it looks like this is just. It's this is. Oh, oh goodness, it's a posable figure. Let's start off there. It's already not a good thing, but she has like um, uh, like it's some sort of armor, like some sort of dinosaur armor. It's just very odd that it where it's placed at. Maybe she's supposed to be riding it, like it's a broomstick or something, like she's a witch. But it looks like it's a piece of her armor, and the, the, the face, the jawline, is just right in the crotch section, which is very, very odd choice. Uh, it is an interesting figure, nonetheless. Uh, the fact that it's posable means I definitely won't be getting it. So, let's continue. <coughs> Should've got some water, man. I'm, I'm already, already getting low. Hell, losing the, losing the, losing the voice here. Okay. Okay, I mean, this the, the thing is, so far, we have not seen a bad figure. They're all sexual, of course. That's what we were expecting. That's that's what we paid for, all right? That's, what, that's why we're here. But they're not overly sexualized. Uh, you know, not, they haven't gotten that sexual just yet. So let's go ahead and look at this beauty right here. Who, who would have thought? That probably one of the nicest figures that in this video was going to be one that's still fully clothed. I was not expecting that. That is, this is a gorgeous figure. I don't know, maybe it's the, god damn it, look at that base. It's not like I haven't seen figures in Yakatas or Komodos or, uh, I don't know what type of dress this is. Maybe just call it a China dress. Uh, whatever it is. It's not the first time we've seen a figure dressed like this, but it is definitely one of the better ones I've seen. God damn it. And then she has like a loot here. I believe that's what that's called. Fucking awesome, dude. I mean, fucking awesome. Sorry, baby. We ain't no nips out, so you ain't gonna make it into the thumbnail, probably. But maybe. Maybe. I mean, it's always possible, but you are a beautiful figure. And I definitely gotta give you your props, man. God damn it. Oh, wow, there's another girl playing an instrument. Well, she's kind of playing it, not really playing it. Uh, it's like some sort of string instrument. I'm guessing these girls are designed to go together. I don't know what anime this is from. Maybe it's just the uh, animator. Because I know this guy, uh, Tony. I've, I've seen some of his art books. Something I also want to start doing on his channel is, is looking through art books. I've already done one video, but I'm trying to change up the format to make it a little quicker. Uh, so in the event that I, I do I want to get some of this guy's art books and we can we can look through them together man Look at some of the artwork because what's interesting about those art books is they do generally get turned into figures So these girls are definitely supposed to be a set Okay, hey Hey, why is this one not in color dude? Goodness gracious, dude. Okay. I'm sorry. We did already we finally, we, we, we still tape, but God damn, look at this, man. Look at this, man. Look at these cheeks. <laughs> guys, 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 they do not give these girls this kind of booty action, all right? This kind of loving in the, in the, in the, you know, lower half section doesn't get a lot of love. And this one is getting a lot of love, man. 
you know, I mean, they just never, they never emphasize the girls' booties, man, in these uh, figures, man, or just in anime in general. So whenever I see a figure that's giving them a little bit of action, I'm all about it. Now, I thought these were dildos down here on the floor, but I believe those are mini torpedoes, which could also be known as a dildo, I guess. You can call a dildo whatever the hell you want, but those are clearly torpedoes. They got, I, I believe they are, or missiles of some sort. Very interesting. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to save this image because it has the full colored image of the girl in the background there. But uh, th this one is a little bit better. You get a better angle of the booty. And that's what we want. Yes. Yes. Come on. Make it happen. Give give us give us ass men out there a little bit of loving, man. This is all I'm asking for, dude. A little bit of cheek action, man. You know who's got some good cheeks? There's at least... At least as far as these figures are concerned, it's, a lot of these Sonical figures be banging, dude. Like, the booties be banging, alright? That's some top of booty right there if you're looking at these uh, figures for that for that status in particular. But the, this one is awesome. Let's keep it going. Disappointed that figure wasn't in color. So we have a character here wearing the Virgin Killer sweater, which was a meme and a fad for a short period of time, at least in Japan it was. Japan always has some sort of weird-ass sexual fads, man. Unlike any other place in the world, generally the fads tend to be centered around sexuality in some way. Uh, but apparently we're not going to get a chance to see this girl's face or anything, just the back of her. Which is a bit disappointing. Huh. I don't know who's taking these pictures, man. They, they don't get all the angles in. Wow, we have our first nip slip of the evening. The first nip slip of the evening. Let's go play-by-play. Okay, you're not in color either, but you know what? What can you do? What can you do? Uh, all these figures would be stellar in their own right. You know what I mean? Absolutely breathtaking, but when you put so many amazing figures side by side, the only ones that are going to stand out are the ones that are just stellar. All right, now this is a beautiful figure. You can see every strand of her hair, which is amazing. I mean, figures do not go through this much detail most of the time. I uh, wish it was in color, I mean I always say that, but it's clearly still a prototype and it's prototyping face. But that does not take away from the fact that it's a beautiful figure. Uh, and it is sexy, but uh, still kind of tamed man. We're, we're starting off kind of tamed. I mean there's a nip here, there's definitely a nip. So I mean we're, 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 we're moving. We're moving in the right direction. Alright. <laughs> Okay, uh, I I see. I, I don't I don't got I don't got much to say about this girl. I'm disappointed a little bit. All right, I was get the hype was 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 rising. The hype was getting there, right? Because I, I see the I see the titty. All right, I, I see it. I do. I, I just I'm uninterested by majority of the rest of the figure here. Uh, I mean, we're gonna see a lot of titties today. All right, you gotta be giving me a bit more than just that. I mean, you're okay, but you're not. You're not for me, all right? You're all right. Let's keep it going. Okay, hey, 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 okay. Finally, we get some color. God damn it, man. About time. And we get, and these girls, do they not even have a top? Like, what the hell is this? What the? F it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's <just> beautiful. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a gorgeous figure, man. These are nice. They they look totally like they're designed to be sold as a set. I don't know what kind of attire they're wearing. Uh, if I had a complaint, if I had, if I could complain, which which you know I can do, I, I, I do prefer my cast offable figures to have some sort of something that can conceal, conceal them. All right. In the event that you know, I'm showing off my collection, I don't want all my girls' titties hanging out. You know. I, I, I'm a little bit more reserved when it comes to that. Uh, my a lot of these characters I already collect are highly sexualized. I generally just don't display them exposed. So if there is no option to cover them up, it's less likely that I'm going to get them. But doesn't mean I cannot enjoy this figure. We are going to add them to the collection. Beautiful young ladies. They are going to be beat though. I mean, very nice, but also very simplistic. So, it's not going to be long before we see a figure that's probably going to outdo that one. 
Okay. 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 Not much to say about her. She's all right. This one is really nice, though. Uh, God damn it, man. I wish they put more of these figures in color, man. Because uh, that would probably really sell this one for me. She looks almost like a goddamn Minecraft character. <laughs> I mean, well, the sword looks like a Minecraft sword. You know what I mean? And that's kind of what's giving me the, uh, the vibe of, of Minecraft. But, um... <sighs> I mean, I like her. I do, but... Uh... It's, it's uh, in the base. I mean, I see some gaming vibes here. They're not leaning into it as hard as, as they could be. And they're not even, I mean, the, 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 and then the uh, actual way the characters dress is also kind of. You know who this is? I think this might be Blackheart from uh, Hyper Neptunia. And maybe that would make sense with the whole gaming thing. Because aside from that, she's just a girl with bunny ears and a bikini. You can't tell me that's not pretty common out here. The best part of this figure is this kind of pixelated sword and this uh, this base. I just realize the sword kind of looks like a dick. But I mean, maybe that's just me. These could be ball. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. The fact that we are in the 18 plus section that my my imagination is a bit warped. But it kind of looks like a dick. Okay. Oh, this joint looks beautiful. Is that oh no? Hold on. Oh no! Oh, God. Hold on. I was. I was, I was a little excited, but clearly she is a bit more excited than me because that is something coming from up under that that cloth right there, man. I was, I, I was like, I was like up here, I was like, uh, all the way up here, I was like, yeah, 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 I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. And I got down here, I'm like, whoa, whoa hold on, hold on, something's not, some ain't, something not atomically correct about this. <laughs> Something is not anatomically correct here, and let, let's let's get you guys a bit closer image in case you're curious. I mean, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get, cause I I thought they might show a bit more of an angle. We're not getting too much of an angle here. Uh, we're, we're getting the same angle, just kind of a closer. But you can't tell me something ain't happening over here, man. Cause something was definitely happening over here. <laughs> she hit, she hit you with the trap, man. It's a trap right there, man. God damn. That was really so promising. Oh, we are going strong into the adult figures now. This girl, these people are not fucking playing. This girl is literally just eating cum, dude. Like, this is a good fuck. This is, this is a bit stronger than I was expecting. This is, this is, this is getting intense, man. This is getting a little too intense a little too quickly. What the fuck, dude? YouTube's gonna crucify me after this shit, aren't they? Yeah, I, I just believe it, man. This might be the last video you guys see from me. Because YouTube is going to fucking hang my ass after this shit, dude. God damn it, look at this shit. But we are making it happen. In, we're, we're making it happen in this motherfucker, okay? Just, just you know, get hype. Get, get, get hype. Send a like to your boy. Do something, man, because this shit is getting intense. What the hell, dude? This this is a bit much for me. I mean, it's too much for me to buy. Like I I I I, I love my sexualized figures, and I was really looking forward to this video. <clears throat> but a lot of these figures I could never buy. If I'm just being real with you, these are just a bit too much. <laughs> they going a little too far for me. I I have a very I have a weird limitation on how sexual I want my figures to be. As long as I can kind of tame their sexuality in some way, if I can cover them up, then we can work with it, you know? If they are just all out there, ain't much I can do about it. Now, this figure is definitely more my speed. She is sexy, very sexy, but she can also be uh, dressed up. And, you know, her outfit can be concealed. So, she is beautiful, though. I think this is, is this Little Red Riding Hood. None of these images are quite as good as I want them to be. Like, I just want an image of her. Okay, that's a little bit better. But this doesn't have her full body. I mean, see, the, the problem I'm having with the images up here is that there's a picture in the background, so of clearly of the drawing that it was inspired by. Um, sometimes the drawings come before the figures, and sometimes they come after. Uh, and I, I can't really determine if that was the case here, but... 
I just can't can't get quite the right image that I would like of her. This is kind of the nicest one, but then you're missing a lot of the better detail at the bottom. <clears throat> so, um, but she is nice. Let's just go ahead and save a image of her at least. We can figure everything else out later. Let's go ahead and get this one. I don't really like this image as much because the background is really getting in the way of the character in the foreground. But whatever, it's fine. All right, let's keep it going. She she's nice. That's a character I could buy. Not much happening with her. It's sexual, but it's still relatively tamed. But that's my speed. Okay, we just have some drawings now. Oh, cheekage. Always respect it. Always. It's gotta respect the cheeks, man. Oh, okay, more booty. Okay, we just got. We literally just have pictures, but they are quite sexual. Quite sexual indeed. Okay. Whoo! Whoo! <laughs> Alright, that's just section one, man. Where they only had some of the figures were 18 plus, but not all of them. We are going into native. All right, now before we, I only own one native figure. It's my it's my Alice figure, um, and I love that figure. It's beautiful. Uh, she she cannot be clothed, not completely, but uh, she's not overly revealing in my in my opinion. So uh, uh, I can make an exception with her. Now native. They, they next level here. If you know anything, you, you're going to see. You're going to see in a second. Just be prepared. Uh, I don't know what we're, we're going to be expecting here, but it's, it's about to get intense. Okay. 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 Huh. Um, I don't know how I feel about this figure. I can tell you one thing I don't like is her facial expression. Like, it's supposed, she's supposed to look... She's supposed to look sinister, I guess. Maybe a little bit embarrassed that she spilled. It looks like she's spilling the stuff on purpose, but her facial expression, I'm guessing it's supposed to be either like sinister, intimidating, like almost like she's hissing at you. But it doesn't look like that. She looks very disgruntled and uncomfortable. Something is a little off with her expression. She's an odd thing to comment on. Uh, yes, I, I see she has nips, nips out, which is gonna be an ongoing theme in this video uh, and and then the wine that's being spilled onto her uh, doesn't look like it's depicted that well I mean that's not an easy thing to create but it just looks kind of it looks almost like uh, like wax that's what it looks more like 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 wax from a candle or something and I know it's a, not an easy thing to depict but look at this shit here it doesn't look that great or convincing I feel like they could have done a better job with this part. That This part right here is fine. Where it's flowing out of the cup. But this part here. Eh, doesn't look that great. Ah, so I mean she's okay. Not a strong start. The base is nice though. I will give them props for the base. Her sitting in the chair. I always like chairs. I always like creative bases. So it's not bad. We got two uh, little angel girls here. I wonder if they come as a set. Uh, probably not. No, nah, because it looks like the it looks like the base is separated here at the bottom. Yeah, it's definitely separated, so they probably be sold separately. But god damn it are these shit these fucking joints not beautiful. And look at her, she's just presenting the tit. Look at this shit. She's like <laughs> present the tit. <laughs> just whoo hoo. You know like it's, it's like it's, that is fucking awesome. I don't know why, but that shit right there is just so cool to me like the way she just like bam like she's just embracing it man and uh, <laughs> i mean the confidence i gotta respect a lot of people man a lot of people have a lot more confidence in, in their collection than i do i can't present a lot of these girls on my shelf even though almost no one ever sees my room aside from you guys uh it's just it's just <laughs> look at this fucking figure it's just fucking awesome dude she is awesome she is absolutely awesome she's just brimming with confidence that is so cool, man. Yeah, these are beautiful figures. Oh, I, I, should, I should probably save that, shouldn't I? Eh, it, none of these are thumbnail worthy yet. So that's something we got to keep in mind as we continue in this video. So we're still looking for a figure that is thumbnail quality. Oh, now this figure I've seen. And I think I've seen this one in color. Unless this one is, uh... Unless this girl is 
different from the other one I saw. Oh! Oh! It took me a while to realize what was happening here. She has like a vibrator attached to her leg there. Very nice. Very nice touch. Very subtle. Very subtle indeed. She's, uh, but I, I do love this base. This is a main selling point for me. And this figure... Oh, this figure is so fucking awesome, dude. Like, I, I know I'm going... I'm, I'm evolving as I'm looking at this picture. Because I'm looking at it like... Hmm, not bad. Not bad. Then I go down a little bit like... Oh, it's getting better. And then I hit the base and I'm like... Yeah! <laughs> That's, this base is awesome, dude. Like, this base is really a selling point for me. The rest of the figure uh, a bit more sexualized than I would generally take uh, without being able to cover her up. But uh, that base is so fucking sexy, dude. It's, it's this figure is almost irresistible. And Native is so fucking creative with their figures, man. And their boxing, their boxing is generally pretty nice too. At least from the figures I've seen. God damn it, dude. I'm not gonna find a better image of that for Emma. Probably not. So I guess I'm gonna have to save this one. I, I, I'm I'm really disappointed at the lack of colored figures in this one. There are a lot of figures that are not in color here. And this figure, I believe, has a color version by now. So this is kind of disappointing. Oh, she got a little photo shoot? Oh, that doesn't come with the camera and everything? That's pretty cool. I like that accessory just by itself. She, however, is somewhat average. Uh, everything else that comes with her is kind of interesting. You know, she's taking, a, she's taking a, having a photo shoot and everything, but her herself is relatively average, like not that interesting. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Oh shit! Hold on. Oh. Okay. God damn it! This shit is hot, dude. Is this? Did these figures come together? Fuck, this is a this is fucking hot shit, dude. Fuck. Fuck. What the fuck? Is that a mole in her inner thigh? Damn, that shit's getting creative. That's the case. I thought it was just maybe paint transfer or something. Oh, this shit is fucking intense. Look at her eyes. I know that's not what most people are gonna be looking at. Those are some beautiful ass eyes right there. Fucking shit, dude. God damn, that's fucking sexy. Hold on. I, I need to get I need to remember to save this shit, dude. Save it. Let's keep it going. God damn. We're gonna see a couple more images coming in. Oh, okay. I guess that's that joint. Oh, god damn it. I need some. I need. I need. A, whew, I need a fucking break, dude. This. This shit is just coming a little too fast for me, man. This shit is fucking off. God damn it. Ah. It's, fuck, dude. Shit. Now, I got a feeling this is probably Tony as well, the guy who did the artist that was doing the previous thing when I was talking about the art book. Because he does a lot of fairies in his drawings and stuff, which is somehow very original. You don't see a lot of fairies in uh, in these in these figures, figure series. Of you don't see a lot of fi uh, fairies in the figure community, is what I'm trying to say. And I don't like fairies, I don't know. Because I guess, I guess because you see a lot of... Uh, Fairy figures and other mediums and cultures and stuff. Something about having a fairy is extremely feminine, I, I kind of feel. Uh, if, if I only collected fairies, that would be a different thing. Uh, but the fact that I mean, I, she, she would just look a bit random in my collection with those fairy wings like that. Man, I guess you could say an angel or anything else with wings what might, might seem out of place. But for some reason, fairies just seem like something that if you're a fairy collector... It kind of those things where you seem like that's probably the only thing you should be collecting. Or maybe ponies or something. You know, go ahead and get some fairies, get some ponies. It just seems like, okay, well, that makes some sense. You know, that that's cohesive. Unicorns. But uh, just having one little fairy in the middle of your entire collection of girls in bikinis or some shit, it just seems like it would be a clash a bit. Just an opinion. Just an opinion. She's, she's okay. She's definitely got her titties out, which is always a plus. But in a video where we're going to see a lot of titties, you got to do something a bit more than just have tits out. Uh, you got to do something a bit more. Whoa, okay. Hey, hey. Or not. Or not. If you, this girl's like she's working for her. You're like, you know what? I got to I gotta impress this guy. All right. I'm going to do a kickflip. I'm going to do a goddamn karate kick in this motherfucker or something. <laughs> 
Oh wow, this is, a, is she black? They don't really make black figures. I think she's just tanned. But she looks fucking black to me in this image back here. Um, fuck. I mean, this is better than the previous figure. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, I'm feeling indifferent about this one. I would like to, I like to like it, but it, it's it's okay. It's just okay. Okay, this girl looks beautiful too, man. She looks a bit strong. I guess they're both from the same series. And they also both seem like they might be so they're supposed to be black, I guess. I don't think I don't think Asian people know how to make black people. <laughs> Cause I mean their their facial features don't look black, but their skin is clearly really dark. It's not just tan. This is clearly like a black character based off this image back here. You can only see the leg, but I'm pretty sure this character is supposed to be black. But like something about their facial features never really looked that way. Hell, even the way their body is shaped isn't really black. All right, you know, black girls have a certain build on them. Granted, they all come in different shapes and sizes, but it's like a white character. Like as far as their aesthetic, their face, their body, their build, but they're just cut. They're just tanning her skin a black color. You can't really do that. Like black girls are just built differently. Their face, everything about them is built differently. And that's a weird. Fucking thing to complain about. <laughs> you guys don't give a shit about this. They're just here to see the titties. <laughs> so let's just fuck off. Look, fuck off with all that weird ass shit, I guess. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just critiquing the anatomy, alright? There's always so much you can say about seeing, like, a hell of a lot of titties. We're gonna see a lot of titties. It's, oh, no. Oh, no. I saw a little bit of the next figure. This one's gonna get fucking questionable. Alright? This shit's about to get real fucking questionable. Suspect, alright, in this motherfucker. Yeah, that's what I figured we'd be looking at. Ugh, okay, this shit is uncomfortable, but... You know, uh, now, hey, this might be for someone. I can tell you, it ain't for me. Now, I'm sure this girl is 18, alright? But she don't look it, and that's the problem I have with these type of figures. We gotta talk about it, alright? Clearly, she's designed to look as young as possible. All the way down to the, 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 the fucking teddy bears and all that shit. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. I just figured it for somebody, but they ain't for me. This shit is, is next level. Alright. Alright. For some reason they color this figure white. I don't know if this I push this is a pre-color. But generally, if they haven't colored the figure yet, you're usually kind of a grayish color. It's very interesting that they made them this white color. I don't know. Okay. This girl looks very promising. Is she what is she holding behind her? I'd like to know. That is a great set of tits, bro. Let me, let me work that shit. Work that shit. That is a great set of titties you got there, Darlin. I want to know what she has behind her. I think it's a pole, maybe. Yeah, I mean, simple. But effective. But effective. Okay. We have this maid girl. And, uh, that's about it. Nothing... Really interesting about her. Not even a, not even a little bit. She got her tits out. Okay, you got it, darling. That's about it. Uh, some sort of a cat girl. Always love the stockings. That always is a very nice touch on any figure. Uh, but aside from that, uh, and the beanbag chair is pretty nice too, as something to present her on. Aside from that, she's pretty average. She has another girl that's presented for her. These are the same girls from earlier. Now, when we saw them earlier, she was presenting the tit. She was like, whoo-hoo, you know? Now, I believe it's the same two girls. And uh, I don't know if they're from an anime or a series. But they're clearly designed to be as a set. And this one is always one that's better, man. I like this one a lot more. She, she has far more expression. I wonder if she's the, the one who was presenting the tit. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I do know that she is holding, the way she's holding her panties here is very unique. And <laughs> it is, it's unique, alright, you don't see this kind of pose very often. I mean, this is pretty cool looking. I like this right here. And I like her expression, I like all this happening up in this general location. I don't know why this is blurred, I mean, I guess it's blurred, I know what's down there, but it's looking like Miss Singo right now. Miss Singo! <laughs> Usually they just put a sticker there, maybe that is the sticker. Actually, I think that is the sticker. It's just supposed to look pixelated, uh, which is an interesting way to do it. Okay. 
All right. Very nice. Oh. Okay. It's taking a while to digest this figure. You know, another thing that can make a big difference with some of these is that they were larger. Now, I'm pretty sure that most of these are 1.7 scale. It's generally the scale size that uh, Native works in. Uh, but it'd be nicer if they were like a 1.6 or 1.4. It can make all the difference in whether or not I get them. This figure is beautiful uh, indeed. And I would just like her to be large if at all possible. But I don't, I don't know. I have no way of knowing that. I mean, she's okay. Oh, now we now we ebbing it up up. I likes this one a lot. It's very simple. She's not really terribly nude or anything like that. Uh, she's actually pretty well well dressed. Uh, I'm not sure if she can be cast off, but what we can see here is actually pretty nice. Yes, man, very nice indeed. It's simple, but I love it. I love it. Okay, this is about as average as they come. A girl and a bunny suit. This is why I stopped getting these free figures. Of course, you can see my bunny girls back here on this top shelf here. But those are going to be the only bunny girls I ever own. Uh, I was a big fan of freeing. And this is not freeing in any means. But freeing has popularized the bunny girl thing so much. And what's really disappointing about this one is that... Her stockings aren't even... Oh, okay, I was about to say, I don't think that their stockings are actual uh, stocking fabric, but they are. Okay, I'll give her that. But she's just so... I'm just so tired of seeing the bunny girls, all right? There's just so many of them in the uh, figure community. They're not really... It's just oversaturated. I mean, you want to see something different, something unique every now and again. And this one is just super basic. Here's another one. So basic, dude. I'm so over these bunny girls. I'm sorry. Maybe other people really care for them. If you are collecting predominantly bunny girls, you could have your own little Playboy mansion. If you just only get bunny girls, they all look good together. I'll give them that. You can present every last one together, even if they are from other series and franchises. They always look nice together. But I'm so over the bunny girls, dude. <coughs> Whew. And as I said that, as I said that, I will instantly eat my words and possibly become hypocritical here because this one is very nice. <laughs> this is the Angel. This is one of the Angel Girls that uh, Native um, already has released figures for. It's a set of four, I believe, in total. Uh, and I've been seeing these girls come up a lot lately. Their anatomy is always a bit different. Each of them have, some have really big breasts and my little, really, little ones. And their anatomy is something that's very unique about them. Like, this one is extremely slender. And if you see the ones where she has less clothing, you can even see her, like, almost her rib cages. Like, even here, you can kind of see it a little bit because of how slender she is. It's almost like she's hungry, dude. It's kind of weird. But uh, I still am a big fan of these particular girls. The little angel wings right here on her back. And, and this, out of the bunny figures we have seen, is the one that I would say is the nicest. And I wonder if they're making a full set of these girls as bunnies. They probably are. Yep, because there is the other one. And I have seen this girl before. And I am a fan of this one. Even though I said I hate bunny girls, which I kind of do, <laughs> uh, it's hard to resist these angel girls. Like, something about their anatomy, even though it's terribly disproportionate, like, it's not it's not atomically correct. Like, look at her tiny waist. It's huge ass and it's huge tits. But it's very creative, though. Like, the way their anatomy is different from most... Most figures and most most of these girls that are designed like this. We're moving extremely slow. We gotta move a little quicker. But I do want to. I do this video is gonna be kind of long. I just don't want. I'm gonna make sure I don't run out of camera recording time or battery life throughout the duration of this. So <laughs> we're gonna amp it up a little bit. Uh, this girl ain't got much to say about her. This girl ain't got much to say about her. This girl. Got a lot to say about her. <laughs> what the fuck is happening here? What the fuck? Is this like a promise necklace for your pussy? It's a pussy promise necklace. It's like, you, you know how you get, you, you get the promise necklace? It's like in two hearts. You break the heart apart and give it to your best friend. You give it to your family. You give it to somebody you love. This is the same thing that's happening here. There's a, something that's linking these two girls together. And I'm not sure if it's okay. She got the nipple clamps. And God... Damn, that's a beautiful fucking face, dude. 
Sorry, this image is so goddamn pixelated, but look at this shit. Look at this fucking detail. Look at the fucking hair. God damn, dude. I know we're not here to see this. We're here to see this. But <laughs> and those are fucking awesome too. But we're gonna get to that in a second. You can really see the the quality of a figure just based off their face alone, all right? Just based off of the hair, just based off of how they handle the face. If this is this beautiful, you know it's a quality figure. Like, look at the, how beautiful her face is painted. Look at all the detail there. I mean, goddamn, this shit is breathtaking. Look at her hair. This shit is very well done. And so are these. All right. On another note, <laughs> and so are these. Those nipples are done very nicely. <laughs> very nicely. And very nice. <laughs> oh, and she's got a little bit of hair there. I didn't even notice that. I've never seen that on a figure. Usually they're pretty clean shaven. But for the other go the extra mile and put a little bit of a little bit of fuzz on that joint. This figure's quality right here. I mean, it's a bit much for me, obviously, but it's fucking quality, dude. And I cannot cannot say that it isn't. God damn. God damn. God damn. They gotta be... They really gotta be grabbed by the pussy like that, though. That's the real question we have. Does, is that necessary? Let me get a closer look at this girl's face. I think they have an image here. Which is shows you just how fucking detailed this shit is. Look at this fucking expression, dude. God damn it. God damn it, dude. I mean, I, I still like the other figure a bit more. But, this is some grade A shit right here, dude. Fucking shit, dude. Whew. Alright, let's... Let's take it down a notch here. Uh, these are what I think they call the... Uh, rock, part of the Rocket Boy line. Or something like that. Which generally means, I think it's either a girl with a dick. <laughs> a girl with a dick. <laughs> Or a guy that just happens to look like a girl or dress like a girl, which is what I think is the case with this one. This, these are guys, I believe. But they just happen to be dressed extremely feminine or whatever. You could say it's unique or interesting. There aren't a lot of figure manufacturers out there making stuff like this. Uh, but what the fuck? I mean, it ain't for me, obviously. Uh, somebody out there would probably be interested in it. So there you go. You got it. Is that a squid? I think the squid is attacking somebody. Can't quite see it. I think there's a girl under there, and the squid is is fucking her up, man. Uh, or, or the octopus is really getting in there. It's interesting. Wow, this is very odd. I've seen a lot of posable figures, and I've seen them. I guess you could say nude posable figures, but I've never seen one quite as detailed as this one. I don't know. Uh, these some these some plain ass nipples, man. I mean, you can't not see them because they're they're right there in your face. But it just look kind of plain in comparison to how detailed and how well colored the other figures were. You can see how not great this figure is. I mean, her eyes are kind of nice, but they are very simple as well. Wow, that's only the second part. We got five more parts to go, man. We're already coming up on an uh, on an hour. <laughs> I'm moving kind of slow today, so forgive me. Uh, but there's a lot to take in, man. And we're going to try our best to get through all this today. Like I said, this will probably be a two-hour video. Because I want to take my time and really enjoy this. I want you guys to enjoy this. So, uh, Anime Box. I have seen this figure before. I don't think she was in color last time we saw her. Um, but goddamn, she is fucking breathtaking, isn't she? Does she have no panties on? She ain't got no panties on. She ain't got no panties on. God damn. Yeah, beautiful figure, man. Uh, Not really the best images of him for some reason. I don't know. I don't like any of these images that much. But we'll go ahead and get this one. I just realized that her horn is chipped. I don't think that's supposed to be that way. It doesn't look normal. It doesn't look like that's like how it's supposed to be. I feel like she might have got damage doing shipping. Which is not a good sign. <laughs> I mean, look, her, her horn is completely missing. 
And I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be like that. But whatever. It, it's pretty nice. Okay, we got a... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same guy who designed those angels. Just looking at, at her anatomy, it looks very similar. Um, but it is not. It's like a demon version of her. I feel like it's the same girl. Yeah, I think it is the exact same angel girl that we just saw with the carrot. In the in the uh, bunny suit. There is, she's usually an angel. In this particular case, they made a demon version of her. Uh, it's okay. It's pretty simple. But it's, it's nice, I guess. Okay, okay. Alright, man. Uh, you guys really like this figure, but I don't that like it that much, okay? Super Sonic Go. You can't go wrong with Sonic Go. And this is... Sonic has some of the most beautifully designed figures. I, I'm not a Sonico collector, but I feel like you have to be a Sonico collector to really to really get into a lot of these figures. Uh, and Sonico's a really affordable figure. If you're, I, I would recommend oddly enough, I'd recommend Sonico more for a, a starting out beginner collector because their their figures are pretty affordable. They appeal to both girls and guys. I think it's the color palette that appeals to the girls. They do a really good job with the pastel colors on her most of the time. But the sexuality of the figures definitely also appeal to the guys. So Sonico is really just that kind of sweet spot where she just kind of hits every area. Um, beautiful figure, man. Okay, we got some girls with some umbrellas. It's pretty simple. Uh, so far, this, this particular... Company is uh, a little bit of a slow, slow crawl here. Okay, this one is nice. As ongoing racing theme in the uh, anime figure community. I don't know why making these racing girls has become so popular, but it's definitely another really popular theme. I don't know. Maybe do people in Japan watch NASCAR? Is that a big thing? I don't know. I figured NASCAR was just about as American as it gets. Okay, so the first company's already done with, and then we're not really that great of a showing. Now we're on to Keyed or Kenid or whatever the hell this company is called. Um, wow, they're done. All right, now we're on to Stronger, and we have our first Fate figure, which I did not think that Saber would show up at all in this video uh, because I, they don't traditionally make her like cast off a bull or adult figure in any way uh this one is pretty impressive too unfortunately i do not want to compliment her but i kind of don't have a choice but to compliment her because this little lion head thing going on her shoulder pad is very fucking unique she's covering her tits is a little bit but i don't think that's really i think they do with the tits i just think it happens to be a pose that she just happens to be in okay well more fate figures we're not going to talk about these girls too much, man. You guys have got enough screen time in my other videos. So, whoa, hold on. Okay, we got a little bit less armor. All right, I'm with it. Uh, but you guys get enough screen time in my other videos. We're going to try to focus on someone else in this one. Lord Kareen. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that name completely. Uh, but let's go. Let's make it happen. I don't see how any of these companies are adult companies. I haven't seen anything that really looks adult in any of these companies. And the closest one might have been that little demon girl in the beginning. I mean, I like the fact that these figures come with microphones. But, aside from that, I ain't got much else to say about them. I mean, they look okay. But we're here for the titties, alright? Where the hell are the titties at? Alright, it's supposed to be the adult section. We start off so strong and now we kind of burning out up in this motherfucker. Not to say we won't find some beautiful figures. It's just that even these, even though these figures aren't new, they're not doing enough to grab my attention either. Like, they're just relatively average. The nicest part about them. Uh, and that's it. Well, god damn. That is uh, uh, disappointing, isn't it? Q6. Okay. Uh, keep your clothes on, little girl. Uh. You look fucking weird. Okay. Okay. I, I feel like they're trying to warm us up to something. Uh, 
we're getting there. Q6, I don't think is really. I want to say, I want to say that. Maybe they are adult. I mean, I don't know. I have definitely seen this figure before. Yes, I have. Uh, and she is uh, beautiful. We still don't have a thumbnail, I realize. We, I mean, we haven't quite seen anything that's thumbnail worthy. Um, we'll go ahead and save these, these little girls right here. They're okay. Uh, I do like the different expressions. Both of them are very nice. Okay. Uh, kind of a fairy looking character. Uh, or elf, elfish, elvish kind of character. With the staff. Okay, not not hating that, not hating that. And we got a girl in what seems to be like a whoa, a whoa whoa, a whoa whoa. I didn't see how much the nipples was piercing that little joint right there. You see a hell of detail coming through that joint, huh? I don't know. Is that supposed to be a swimsuit or is this like supposed to be some sort of Under Armour? Like she's got all this uh, like the type of outfits they come up with for this shit is just so convoluted. She's wearing all this goddamn armor and then she's like in a swimsuit. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I guess it doesn't have to. That's just that's just the male uh, culture for you, huh? You don't give a shit. Just put the bitch in a bikini. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what the fuck? It makes no sense at all. Oh jeez. That's all these figures I have seen. Maybe that's why that really hit me that strong. I've seen this young lady before too. Um, and uh. <sighs> They're just so these 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 figures are very safe, you know. They're like not doing anything that's like blowing you away. They're all like, ah, it's a girl with some titties out. Yeah, you like titties, don't you? I do, I do like titties, but I I would like them to maybe be a bit more creatively presented. I mean, you're going up against a lot of different. Oh, whoa! Motherfucker's gonna 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 slice my ass in half here on YouTube, man, for this kind of shit. <laughs> it's one thing to have, you know, these very well developed, very voluptuous adult 18 plus teddies here. It's another thing to have this other figure, and I'm gonna have to talk about it. All right, we're gonna try to keep on it very. Not gonna cover it for too long, and hopefully, we won't see too many of these figures. But the main thing I have to say is that I don't have a problem with the Moe figures necessarily if they at least look like they are physically developed. Like, if they look like they are adult physically. They don't mean they have to have big double Ds, they just have to have a adult body all right and then I could kind of make a passable excuse for them but there is no one in their right mind that is gonna buy this figure if you buy this shit you are some pedophilia type status all going on here man this shit is very disturbing and it's I, I it's very hard for you to look at dude I'm sorry we can't stay on that one for too long it, it, it just come on guys <laughs> I, I understand your pet culture. It, it, they have a, a, a age of consent is a lot lower than it is here in America. That kid, that looks like a fucking five year old dude, and that is disturbing. That is fucking disturbing, man. You gotta have standards, man. You gotta have some cutoff point somewhere. I mean, I guess a lot of people decide to live their fantasies through through things like anime, through things like movies and television. But if you keep entertaining that type of mentality. One day you might be one of these child abductors on the news. I feel like you gotta cut it off somewhere. <laughs> There's gotta be a limit, man. <sighs> thank, thank God. This woman looks like she looks like a fucking big booby goddess right now. This is the best looking figure I've seen. <laughs> Not really, but I just it's just so refreshing in regards to what we just went through. <laughs> it's so refreshing to see a fully developed, well-rounded. 
busted ass, full grown woman in all her glory. Beautiful, man. Let's go ahead and save you, darling. Thank you. Thank you for saving the day. Thank you for lifting my spirits, baby, with your big boobies. I'm okay with that. We're going back to the Scottish kind of younger girls. You know, so whatever. At least they got some clothes on. Okay. 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 Amp it up. Amp it up. Oh. I like these. I like how glossy this joint is. Uh, but it kind of looks fake, actually. I don't know. I actually don't like either one of these figures anymore. Especially after seeing their faces. What the fuck is going on with their faces? The faces are not an easy thing to do, man. Even with these higher, these, these higher companies, man. Like, <clears throat> look at her foot. It all looks like one big toe. Not a lot of detail there. This isn't a good figure at all. Fuck this figure. Okay, so this is a good contrast to what I was just talking about. This girl here has a fucking baby face. All right. Her face, if you just saw the face, you would probably think, eh, she's 13, right? But her body, her body looked like, well now, that there's a body of a well-developed, well-aged young lady. So as long as the body is where it needs to be at, you can kind of skew some of the other face. This one looks like a, she looks, I'm sure she's an adult, but she has a very childlike face, which is very odd. Uh, but this is more tolerable for me. <laughs> this is the same character. This, this expression is just fucking goofy at this point. This is fucking looks weird. I feel like these figure companies don't know what the hell they're doing, man. Like, <laughs> this shit's getting a bit, like, weird, man. Like, I feel like they're, ex they're just expecting just the fact that this girl has her titties out. To simply sell the figure. And little do they know, the figure community, at least here in America, is very fucking picky. I've looked at these websites and they're like, oh, I don't like how she smiles. I won't be getting there. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm like, what? That's a fucking weird ass complaint. You know? But I'm kind of starting to understand, man. Like, I am starting to understand. This girl I've seen, and this girl I like a lot. I've seen a lot of these figures, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, of these figures, they do come with accessories. That's why her, her hand is like this, like, like she's holding something, because she uh, does have like an ice cream accessory, I think. Of these figures, the one I like the least is probably this glossy looking one in the middle. That glossy look, in general, looks, makes the figures look kind of cheap. You want more like a matted look like these two on the sides. And I like the one that's doing the peace sign a little bit more with the, with the uh, but I, I like the blue bikini more, but I like the, the pose that this girl's doing in her expression a little bit more than this one. So, yeah, it's a bit of a toss-up. But I do like these figures. These are some figures I, I actually have been considering getting. And I like the fact that she's tanned as well with the with the blonde hair. It's a nice, nice look. All right, some angel girl. I've seen this girl before. This is the same girl that was in the bikini earlier. What the fuck with the armor on? It's a weird combination. Oh, this girl's doing some weird shit, isn't she? She looks like she's in pain. All right, now we're down to lechery. Uh, which, I know Lechery made some adult shit, alright, so, we we'll probably should see some surprises. This is Asuna. Uh, so we can see anything too crazy with her. And we got some other girls lifting up their skirt. Okay. Okay, I think this girl was taking a piss. We've seen her in another video before, so we're not going to say much about it here. This is, uh, this is, ne not Neptune, this is Noir from Hyper Neptunia in a swimsuit. I think these are one fifth scale, um, because I was, they're pretty, so these are pretty nice. They're pretty simple, but they're pretty big figures, so they're, they're pretty nice. Uh-huh. Okie dokie. What is happening with this girl? I don't know, but I kind of like it. There's a lot of shit going on down here with her skin, like a lot of folds here, but you don't really see this. They don't really fold the skin this much, because it makes it look a little old, I guess, you know? But I guess this is a natural, I mean, naturally, your skin will fold like that, at least in that area. But it just looks a bit wrinkled. It looks like, well, like wrinkles almost. It's very hard. Okay. Okay, I, I've seen this girl before, too. I like her. her. This, in this case, her gloss actually looks kind of, looks a bit better than some of the other ones. I don't know, man. This glossy look. 
I understand it's like it's supposed to like they've been waxed up or you know oiled up, but it, it's a very hit and miss kind of appearance. It kind of makes the figure look a bit cheap. Uh, what I would recommend is maybe they gloss it in certain places. This would be interesting. You know, I mean, we all say I share porn, right? You know how sometimes they'll put the oil on the on the breasts and make them make them start glowing. And it might not put it all over the whole body, but the breasts will just be like glossy. They could do something like that with, with these figures, you know? That would be a little bit nicer. I like the matte finish, but I do like the gloss, but not everywhere. Oh, these guys are getting hella adult now. What the fuck? Do these girls even have faces or just butts and the walls? <laughs> that is fucking interesting. I kind of like this. That's interesting. Okay, we have Super Sonico and um, Poncho. Super Pon Ponchico, I guess. I don't know how you pronounce her name. And they're running. So this is like a jogger Sonico. They call some really clever ass fucking Sonico figures. I don't know how they keep finding multiple ways to sexualize this character, but these motherfuckers are very creative. <laughs> it's probably based off of the artists or the drawings that they've made in the past. They just turned each of those into figures, and this is pretty. This is gonna be a pretty good one, I'm sure. We're starting off with a pretty underdeveloped looking girl. And now we have something that looks like... I don't know what the fuck this is. They ain't got much to say about that. Oh, no, this figure I like. This one I like a lot. Um, I really like this fabric kind of dress she has on. Like, koi fish looking dress. I think it can, I thought it could be removed. I thought it was fabric. But it might not be. Kind of hard to tell. And it, it isn't fabric. What? This entire time, I was so confident that this was fabric. Maybe they have a fabric version. But if it's not fabric, it, it was very convincing the first time I saw it. But it, it's just plastic. It can be cast off, though. It looks like it can be cast off. It's just... I really thought it was fabric. I'm so disappointed. That's the one thing I really liked about that figure. This girl I like a lot, too. I mean, it's so simplistic. But I love this figure. I don't know why. I think it's just the colors. And these photographs they took over her are just terrible. They're so... And they're not the best photographs of her, but whatever, we'll save it. Keep it going. Oh, shit, this one looks awesome. Oh, shit, that looks fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, that looks fucking awesome. I love her eyes, man. I love her eyes. That... Orangish, reddish, fiery looking color in her eyes is awesome, dude. This little beach town girl right here, she looks like she belongs in like Sinra Kagura somewhere. She's not a Sinra Kagura character, but she's giving up those vibes, and I love this character too, man. I just love the color, the simplicity of it. Now, generally, Sin seem to be gravitating to characters that seem to be fully clothed, which is not the purpose of this video, but. Hey man, it is what it is. <laughs> if they look, if they look good, they look good, man. Regardless of whether or not they're they're nude or not, and that is it for this particular section. Wow, man, that was I was expecting a bit more from those characters, those guys, man. That's a company I actually know, have a lot of respect for. It's a bit disappointed. <laughs> this is a bit disappointed by the display or showing that we had there. Oh God, what the fuck is this? Milestone. I don't know any of these companies except for maybe Dragon Toy. So this, and we're already starting off really fucking weird. This is supposed to be an adult company and they got like figures of like machinery and the fuck is this? Like a fucking jailhouse, schoolhouse, fucking assassination room? Like what the fuck is this place, man? What the fuck is this shit? How is this even remotely considered an adult? How did this shit get into 18 plus section? They're all posable figures and shit. Okay, we are fucking going to some dark places now. Oh, hold on. They're bringing it back. They're bringing it back. And then we're gone. What the fuck? There's one image. And it's not even color. What the fuck? Fucking shit, dude. Fucking shit. Okay, this is nice. This girl is nice. She's not in color, man. God damn it, man. What is up with these shows like? bringing this shit and it's not even not even in color man god damn it 
This figure would probably be really nice, but the fact that it's not a color makes it a bit hard to, to even try to figure out what the hell's going on here. I mean, you get the idea, but it's not it's not as interesting as it could be. This one is pretty nice. It's more kind of got that fairy vibe going on, which we don't rock out with the fairies around here. Okay. Then we just have some images. Wow, this is really, it's kind of bad, dude. It's not a whole lot of adult, like this, this, what the fuck, why, where the hell is this? This looks like it would be an amazing figure. It's just an image of one. Damn it, dude. These companies, dude. What are they doing? Alright. This is kind of cool. I almost kind of like it in this, like, kind of rustic, like, porcelain, Greek-looking statue form. This is pretty cool. Is this what she's going to look like? She shouldn't look anything like that right now. I think it's a different character entirely. What the fuck? Oh, wow. Whew. Okay, she looks okay. She's looking good. Oh, yeah, she's looking pretty damn good. I think I've seen this. I think I've seen artist work from her, uh, from this character before. Or from this artist before. I've seen character work from this artist. Man, this is a rough showing, man, because... Most of these figures aren't even in color. That is a very detailed vagina, man. For like, <laughs> for the fact that you can't even see it because it's under uh, under some other clothing and cloth. That shit is like popping out, isn't it? Goddamn. Oh, finally we have something that's in color, man. And just the fact that it's in color is just very refreshing. I don't know if this is an excellent figure or a great figure in any means, but... I'm just satisfied with the fact that it's in color. I mean, it's better than some of the other stuff we've seen just based off that alone. I like, I like the pose and position she's in. God damn it, this is a disappointing showing right here, man. Okay. Okay. Oh, I love this girl. I really do love this this figure right here. I'm a big fan of this girl right here. I don't think this is the same figure I've seen of her though. I feel like this is somehow different. But, ah, uh, don't know what to say, man. Uh, okay, finally we're moving on to a different company. That was a, that was kind of a disappointing showing, man. Let's hope let's hope it gets better from here on out. Cause I, I I've seen that this particular collection. Now these aren't fig these figures aren't really for me, but I would uh, gladly, gladly uh, if if I had an opportunity I would collect this set. You know, like it it would make sense with my current collection. But I'm saying if I had a bit different kind of aesthetic or I was trying to go for something that's somewhat realistic, uh, this would make a lot more sense because these are some very elegant pieces and they look I'm sure they would look beautiful together. Yeah, look at these, man. Look, I look at the base. The base is like a glass base. It might just be plastic, but it's made to look like glass. And, I mean, it's just fucking awesome. They're just girls girls bathing, man. Like, in their hot springs and shit like that. And they just look fucking awesome. Look at this shit. Look at that. See, this is something that somebody could come into your house and see this as art. The kind of shit I have behind me. And most people aren't going to look at this as art. <laughs> they look at it as a waste of money. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Spent all this money on this shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness we are it's a dragon toy now and uh dragon toy is uh starting off with actual dragon looking characters literally they're in dragon armor valkyrie armor uh it's pretty simple oh what the fuck shit they they, they went from they went from zero to 100 with this shit didn't they they gotta ease us into this shit man this girl's got a dick on her breast what the fuck dude we gotta, we gotta keep it moving, man. YouTube's gonna fucking crucify us over this shit. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> oh, god damn it. That was fucking hilarious. Oh, no, that was it? Come on, Dragon Toy. This girl I've seen, this girl I like. I like. Okay? I like her. I don't think I'd buy her, but I do like her. Looks like there's something else over here that we didn't even get an image of. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck is really happening here, man? 
We're, we're missing. I feel like we're missing some shit, dude. Cause I say it's a disappointing showing, but it's a little. It's getting a little sparse at this point. All right, come on, let's pick it up, man. Orca toys, looking good. Starting off strong. Well, I wish she was in color, but it's okay. Starting off strong. I like this girl too. God damn. Okay. Ah. 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 Okay, let's slow down. Let's slow down. Let's slow down. God damn it. Okay. Um. God damn. It's like, it's, it's tough because there's only one of each of these images. So we gotta start somewhere. Here, right? I like this girl. I think this is the same character. Uh, but maybe comes with different accessories. She's definitely in a different type of pose. Uh, but there's not much to say about her. This girl, on the other hand, I am a big fan of. And I didn't know that she was cast offable. I, 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 maybe, they, maybe they're still making revisions on her character. Because, or maybe she just has exchangeable top. But I am a very big fan of this girl right here. And I know she is very similar to a bunny girl. So, and I just said I wasn't going to buy any bunny girls. <laughs> but she's one fifth scale. And I just love the booty on this joint. I don't know. This is the selling point for me. Something about this joint's got mad cheekage. She's got the full package, but she's got great ass right here. Alright? And I didn't, the one I figured I've seen of her before, she, it wasn't, they, she didn't have nips out. Alright? I didn't even think it was cast offable. The way it was designed. I, maybe she has an exchangeable set. I'll show you. Maybe you could just remove the part that goes over top of it. I'm not sure. But it's very nice. And then we got the, uh, the, the, the one with the black outfit on. So let's go ahead and open that up. Yeah, you can see that this one is actually clear. It's see-through. So I think you just take that part off. It seems like. Interesting. Okay. Alright. Uh... Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Nothing interesting here. Let's keep it going. I feel like a lot of these figures will stand out more if it wasn't due to some of the other figures we've already seen in this video. Alright, I've seen this girl before too. I like her. She's nice. This is fucking awesome. This is really fucking awesome. Uh, Which one do I like more though? Probably the one with the more human kind of flesh tones, I guess. No, I like this one a bit more. Yeah, that's fucking... It's so freaking weird. I don't think I'd buy it, but... I gotta respect the fact that it's creative. Yeah, I mean, the anatomy is just fucking weird as shit. The face is beautiful. The the wings are really cool. This anatomy is disturbing, though. <laughs> and I, I don't know, I can't, I can't get around the disturbing anatomy most of the time. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. Oh, okay. God damn. All right. Wake me up, huh? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I know we kind of move fast on this stuff. This joint got way too intense way too quick, man. I can't show anything too crazy, man. We're going to get in fucking trouble, man. I got to race past some of this shit just to stay on the up and up. God damn it, dude. Fuck. Fuck, man. Oh, this is fucking awesome. I don't know. I like I like her stockings and everything. I know that's not what we're really looking at here, but I'm liking the stockings. Oh god. Oh god. They gotta get the close up, huh? Oh god. Why do y'all have to have dicks? What the <laughs> dicks is fucking? I'm sorry. I'm glazing past all the shit that I know you guys want to see, man. But I can't. I can't show this shit, man. <laughs> I can't show this shit on YouTube. <laughs> I can, I can, we, we can be alright with the topless joints. I don't know about the dicks, man. That might be a bit much, you know. That's a bit much. Let's keep it going. Oh, my Jesus. Uh, I'm, that shit took it out of me, man. Oh, my Jesus. Oh, my Jesus. Let's keep it going. Oh, these are my babies. These are my babies! These are my seven, the seven Deadly Sins figures are right here. Uh, there's two of them. This is Peyton's. Uh, at least this is Seven Heavenly Virtues. It's a part of the same figure set. 
This is patience and this is uh Virtue? No, I don't remember what which one this is. Mercy, I think. Oh, mercy, mercy me. I'm thinking mercy because she's an angel. I'm thinking about Overwatch. I'm pretty sure it's not mercy. <laughs> but whatever, it's a big ditty girl. Both of these joints are going to be awesome when they finally release. This one looks fucking beautiful, dude. This one right here? I wish it was in color. Okay. Nope. We ain't got time for y'all. Don't y'all come up in this joint, alright? Okay. Uh, this girl's pretty badass. Uh, I guess I like this dark elf version, this dro elf version looking version a little bit more. She looks pretty cool. Huh, uh, I've seen this leaf girl. Uh, you know, that's another thing. We're seeing a lot of figures we've seen before. Uh... Okay, now we're just getting straight titty art. Okay. I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm not against that. Ooh, that's a sexy-ass picture of Sonic, oh, man. A plus. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. I think they make a lot of resin figures. Which I'm not really that thrilled. Oh, what the fuck? One figure? That's all we getting, man. What the fuck is this, man? All right, I, we got one part left, and uh, God damn it, dude. So this is gonna be it. This this is the last part. This will be the end of the Winterfest. After this part, this will be the end of the video. So hopefully, we will see something. That can wrap this up. I'm still looking for a thumbnail, which is disappointing. I thought I would have guaranteed had a thumbnail by now. I'm sure I can couple together something based off the images I found. But I haven't quite seen one image. I'm like, this, this, this figure defines this entire video. But we'll see what happens. So we got one section left. Let's stay optimistic. Oh, no! <laughs> This is this is going in the complete opposite direction. If you had any kind of a boner before we got to this point, it's gone. All right, it's fucking gone, dude. Oh no! This shit's getting disturbing. What the fuck? Fuck that! Sh get that shit out of here, man. Shit. Oh god damn it! This shit's gonna, this shit's about to get weird, dude. Oh, this shit's about to get so weird. I mean, I was I was I was breathing here, and now we're back to some weird shit, dude. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I can't do this. Too many highs and lows. What the fuck? Oh, shit. This, oh, god damn it. Oh, this shit's killing me, man. <laughs> this shit's fucking killing me. God damn it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Please save us. Please save us, little bunny girl. Oh, my fucking goodness. Oh, god damn it. I love your anatomy. I love how you, I love your fucking hips and your, your, your puss. Everything's just popping out. I'm, I'm loving it. Thank you for, for, for saving us from, from the terror that we have just experienced. So much, so much terror. Oh, Jesus. All right. I'm scared to even move forward. Oh, no. What the fuck? Uh, I, this was, this doesn't seem like it should be bad, but her anatomy looks fucking weird. Her fucking uh, belly button looks like a dark hole. A black hole. Oh, but Jesus. No, please. Okay. Alright, this isn't bad. I mean, it's simple, but it's not bad. Oh, Jesus. I'm just, I'm terrified, man. I'm moving slower. I should be moving faster. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I I think we're getting more we're getting tamed now. Thank God. Jesus Christ. Oh what the fuck is that shit? No, what the fuck? What the fuck, dude? This is some weird shit, man. We are not ready for this shit here, man. Oh Jesus Christ. Whew, shit. Okay, I, I could. This is this is some weird ass anatomy, but I, I can deal with this. We actually need something like this for the thumbnail. 
Cause this is oh shit, this shit has been so fucking weird, dude. It's been hard to, it's been it's been a lot to take in. It's been a fucking lot to take in. Maybe I should get this girl right here. I mean, it's the same girl. I'm just trying to find a better image, man. These people don't take good, very good photographs. I love her tit. I love her nipples, man. I actually love her tits. I love it all. Uh, I don't like how this. You can see a paint tr crack here, or whatever the hell that is. That's kind of weird, but whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's keep it. Let's keep it PG. Oh no! Come on, no, 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 no! <laughs> oh no, no, no! This, 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 this part is definitely a lot of highs and lows. This shit's getting fucking suspect as shit, dude. Fuck me. Oh, should they actually get some sexualized little Why well, is not too sexualized. Uh, some more well-known characters. I was about to say, they're not, they're not about to do this to save I mean, they're going to be popular, I'm sure, but... Fuck this section, dude. I think that is it, man. Alright, hey guys, it's me. Uh, from the future, if you will. Uh, after editing this video, there was some parts that uh, we didn't get. You know, unfortunately, I had to cut out about 10 minutes of the video because this thing will happen where it has a habit of skipping. There ain't much I can do about that. I don't know what's wrong with my video recorder or screen recorder, but it has, has been doing that a lot lately. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. So we missed out on some pretty good moments in this video. And even though I can't really recapture those experiences, I do want to at least show you the figures that you guys missed because there were some pretty good ones there. So I'm going to go ahead and put up a photo reel here at the end of the video uh, and give you guys a chance to check those out. And then uh, we'll close out the video. So thank you guys for your support. If you made it this far, hey, you get to see a couple extra titties for your <laughs> for your dedication. So there you go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. So this will be this going to be about an hour and a half. It's not too bad. It's a little less, less time than I was expecting. <sighs> thank you guys <laughs> for watching to this point. As you can see, this last few parts was a little bit exhausting for me. Uh, sorry if I glazed past a couple things y'all might have wanted to see. But YouTube has a pretty strict pos policy here when it comes to sexual content. And so much so that this whole video might not be up in a few months. I don't know. They might take the shit down. But uh, <laughs> I've just gotten fresh off of a strike on my channel. I'm trying not to get another strike. All right. So... Uh, that's why I kind of avoid anything that's, like, having the, the titties out is not a problem. When they start getting into pierce, like, uh, uh, not piercing, but penetration and stuff like that, it's like, oh, okay, we're, we, we might be going into some, some skeptical territory here. When they start going into the really young, we are really into bad territory. So that's the reason why I generally avoid a lot of that stuff. And we still, I still show it, but... I can't really dwell on that stuff too much. So I'm sorry if I glaze over something you guys really wanted to see. A lot of that stuff is a bit too much for me already. Uh, so that's another reason why I generally try to avoid it. But uh, needless to say, I think you guys have seen some amazing figures. You've definitely seen a hell of a lot of tits today. Uh, and I, I got to sort through some of these images I've saved to kind of come up with some thumbnails. But this is going to be the end of the Winter Wonder Fest. And if you guys have watched all these videos with me, all eight videos, I have to commend you. I have to thank you guys for taking this journey with me. Because uh, this was quite the experience for the both of us, I'm sure. And uh, I hope you guys had a lot of good laughs. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, and I hope you guys found some figures that you are considering to buy after watching this, this series with me. This isn't going to be the end of the figure reports, but it probably will be a little break uh, on the weekly reports. If you guys still like this weekly format, you got to let me know. If you um, if not, I'm going to probably go to something a little bit, maybe like every two weeks or every month or something like that. Because uh, there are not enough figures coming out every week for me to report on them constantly. But we'll see what happens. I know there is a second Wonderfest that's on its way in fall. Uh, uh, so we're going to be getting another another stream of these videos probably soon anyway so hiatus isn't gonna last long but thank you guys for watching this techno tokyo theater video and uh yeah guys if you are not subscribed please subscribe please like comment and subscribe to the channel that would be a great help here we're a very small channel we're still trying to grow so anything you can do to support us it would be great 
Thank you guys for watching and have a great day, guys. Bye bye. I want you for a lifetime.